What's going on guys? Danny Lanier Lawn Care. Today we are going to talk about the old DeWalt fan versus the new DeWalt fan. Now this is model number DCE 511 and this is of course DCE 512. Differences, things of that nature, is it worth upgrading for? Well, a lot of people that I've heard uh, that know the differences between these two say no. They're the exact same price. They're both $119 at Home Depot. But the thing about it is, is I, I like the look of the new one. I really like the look. The look of it is totally awesome. So the front, you can see there's a difference. The backs, you can see there is a difference. Both have the handles. They just pretty much updated the back, made it look a little fancier, made the front look a little fancier. I mean, you still got the same knob up here on both. The bottoms still look pretty much identical. They're both 20 volt battery powered. Uh, there was a rumor that this new one is 12 volt and 20 volt, but it is only 20 volt. So 12 volt will not work. Don't try it. Already did it for you. Uh, it is only a 20 volt fan. So. Let's talk about some differences between these and uh, comment down below what you think or is it worth the upgrade to you. So <clears throat> let's start with the back. So the back, you still got your rafter hangers on both of these. No big deal there. Still got your hanging option. Where the main differences come in other than looks is you're going to get more power out of the new one. 500 CFM is what DeWalt claimed on the old fan, the new fan they claim 650 CFM. But with that extra 150 CFM, you're going to lose a lot of options. One of the main options you're going to lose on this new fan that the old one has is you have the option to plug it in down here. So right down here, you pull this little tab down and you have the option to use a 110 plug. The new one, you don't have that option anymore. Also, one of the main differences that's probably going to get you, which you've still got the hanging option. So, I mean, I, I don't know very many people that use this option anyway, but it could be one that you used. You're also going to lose your 5 8 and quarter inch 20 tripod mounts. So, you no longer have that option on the new one as well but you still have your rebar that you can place in here which the old one yep still had uh you can still hang it you can still you know you still have the rafter hanging option so two of the main features to gain this extra 150 horse or extra 150 cfm is you lose the 110 plug and you lose the quarter inch 20 and the 5 8 tripod adapter. One of another things you're going to lose is battery runtime. DeWalt claims on this old fan that with a four amp hour, you would get up to seven hours maximum speed of the fan. With the new fan, they claim you're only going to get four and a half hours, up to four and a half hours on full speed with a five amp hour battery. So the old one, a four amp hour battery, take you up to seven hours. The new one, a five amp hour battery, is only going to give you around four and a half hours. Another thing that uh, uh, a lot of people haven't talked about is the, the amperage that these pull. So the old one pulled uh, 0.5 and the new one pulls 1.2, I believe it. Yeah, 1.2 amps. So the old one pulled 0.5 amps, the new one pulls 1.2, which is over double. Is that what's giving you your extra power or did they actually change one of the motors or what, you know, what did they do? Something small, but anyway, uh, that's, that's your main differences between these. Let's put a battery in it real quick. We'll let you hear the difference between the two. See if you can tell a difference. And you know, I will tell you that the new one does blow harder. You can definitely tell that it blows harder and you know, but is it worth it for, the losing the option of using the uh, the 110 outlet because 
If your battery dies, well, it wasn't a charger, but you could still use the fan. Uh, so anyway, okay, here's four amp hour battery, fully charged. We're gonna put it in this one here, and we will let you hear and see what you think. There's that. Hopefully you can hear it. I've got it facing the, the mic. And here's the new one here. And here we go. So you can definitely tell that the new one is louder. You can tell that it does blow way better than the old one does whenever you have them side by side. But once again, with that said, you lose a lot of the options that a lot of people liked the 511 for. So comment down below, let me know your thoughts. Are you looking to buy the 512 for the extra CFM that it puts out for the same price, 119, or are you willing to get the old one that gives you all the options with a little less power, but better runtime as well. So that's gonna do it for this video. I hope this answers a lot of your questions. If not, feel free to comment down below. I will answer them to the best of my ability. If you're new to the channel, feel free to smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I will see you in the next one.